Speaker Margaret, um, I think it's clear to everybody except Fine Gael Tarnished that this communications unit is a busted flush. Uh, it needs to be disbanded. I hope that this motion will be supported by the entire opposition, and I think that will be a very clear signal from the opposition that this unit has to go. It is nothing more than a highly expensive PR unit for the Taoiseach and Fine Gael at the expense of the taxpayer. It was, after all, the brainchild of the Taoiseach, and he has to bear responsibility for clear mistakes that were made in the establishment and the operation of this uh, committee. It's completely unacceptable, which is why Sinn Féin has tabled the, this motion for this unit to be disbanded. As you know, Tarnished, we are also calling on the Taoiseach and senior civil servants to appear before the Public Accounts Committee. We can make political charges uh, in this House, and we do, in respect of the use of taxpayers' money uh, in respect of this uh, unit. But the Public Accounts Committee is there to examine how taxpayers' money is spent, to examine processes, to, ex to examine procedures, and to examine whether or not the logic that was behind setting up this unit in the first place, and we were told this was about saving money, is uh, the process that has been uh, followed. And very, very serious questions have been asked by those in the media and by those in this chamber and outside this chamber in respect of the operation of this uh, unit. And it has come under uh, intense scrutiny. And I think that the response from the Taoiseach and indeed the response Tarnisha, from your government to very genuine serious questions which have been raised about this unit have been entirely disingenuous. Because you say there are more important issues out there and you dismiss concerns in a very flippant way. And of course issues like housing and health and many other issues are important. Which is why my party has tabled dozens of motions on those issues asking your party to do the right thing on health to do the right thing on housing, to build the homes that are needed, to put in place a lot of the policy proposals that we have made, and you failed to do so. And we will be back again to deal with all of those issues. But none of that can excuse the, the blatant misuse of taxpayers' money in respect of this uh, unit. Uh, we need to hear from all of the senior uh, civil servants in uh, with responsibility for this uh, unit, which is why we believe uh, Tarnished said that uh, Mr Fraser, who is the head of the Civil and Public Service, should appear before the Public Accounts Committee, Mr Robert Watt, who is the Secretary General of the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform, and also Mr Concannon, who is the head of this uh, unit. And they will have to answer questions in relation to their role as civil servants. But there is obvious questions to be asked by the Taoiseach here and questions that need to be answered. And there are questions uh, and answers that need to, be, uh, need to be given by others in the political sphere uh, as well. So, uh, Tarnister, I don't believe that this unit is going to survive. And I don't believe window dressing is going to cut it either. So, some sort of review that is not worth the paper it's written on. A review that uh, will uh, be riddled with conflicts of interest. Um, where the people who are embarking on the review are the very people who have questions to answer, I don't believe will be acceptable either. So the only acceptable solution for us in Sinn Féin is that this unit be disbanded, that we don't have taxpayers' money being used to promote the activities of one political party, even if that party is in government. All political parties are funded by the state and uh, uh, get taxpayers' money, and that's the level and, and fair playing field that should be in place. But there cannot be, and there should not be, an abuse of taxpayers' money by specialised communication units set up by government to promote political parties and not promote the work of the civil and the public service and indeed that of uh, government, which is why we have tabled this motion.